Eyewitness News is looking ahead to campaign 2018 and Democratic U.S. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse's re-election effort. The junior senator will likely face a Republican challenger in the race. But the question is, will there be a primary to see who gets to take on Whitehouse? Eyewitness News reporter Tim White is here now with the latest. Republican State Representative Bobby Nardalillo is scheduled to formally announce his race against White House in May, but potentially waiting in the wings is another Republican, former state Supreme Court Justice Robert Flanders. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse is up for re-election in 2018, but before Election Day next November, there could be a Republican primary the September before. Nardalillo doesn't have that strong statewide name recognition. Lisa Pelosi was communications director for former Republican Governor Lincoln Almond and Many says primaries can be good for fundraising and name recognition. And a primary does do that for you. It does allow the media to pay more attention when you have opponents going back and forth in a primary. So you do get media coverage. I disagree with you totally. And Eyewitness News that political that analyst Joe Fleming says work. primaries can do more harm than good. I think the big thing is simply that two Republicans who are thinking about running for Senate want to avoid a primary because I think primaries in Rhode Island, Republicans tend to be pushed to the right-hand side too much. If you push to the right too much, you can't move back to the Senate and win. A recent poll has Senator Whitehouse's job approval numbers at 59%. That's a 7% increase from a poll done in September by the same group. Tim White, Eyewitness News.